Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. In this session, let's look at some examples related to what we have learned in the last session. That is, how to find out the limits of exponential and logarithmic functions. So, we have three examples which we will try to solve. So, the first one, limit x tends to 0, e power x plus 3 minus of sin x minus e cube divided by x as x tends to 0. Now, once we have looked at the problem, once we look at the problem, immediately we should be able to understand which of the formulas I have to use here. Now, just a little bit basic observation will tell you that I have to use formula related to e power x and also I have to use the formula related to sin x. For sin x we know that x tends to 0 sin x by x is 1. For e power x we know x tends to 0 e power x minus 1 by x is 1. Like the same formula as this one where you substitute a equal to e. So, let us go ahead and try to simplify this, we will say this is nothing but equal to limit x tends to 0. Can I write e power x plus 3 as e power x into e, e cube? So, that I can take e cube common. So, I can write it as e cube into e power x minus 1 minus sin of x divided by x. Now, you can separate them now. I can say limit of x tends to 0. I can take e cube out actually, e cube into e power x minus 1 by x minus of limit x tends to 0 sin of x divided by x. So, we know that limit of x tends to 0 e power x minus 1 divided by x. That means, this box is nothing but equal to 1. Similarly, the second one is also equal to 1. So, I can go ahead and write it as e cube into 1 minus 1. So, the answer will be e cube minus 1. So, once you look at the problem, you have to understand which formula you have to use. First of all, what are the functions we are looking in the problem? They are exponential and trigonometric. That means, what are the formulas for trigonometric? What are the formulas for exponential? Now, if you cannot directly use it, how I have to manipulate this? what is not allowing me to solve this problem. So, because there is e cube, so I have to take that e cube, factor it out. I can take it common, then I can see that we are in the form what is needed. Let us go to the next problem. Limit x tends to 0, 3 power 2 plus x minus 9 divided by x. This is in the form of a power x minus 1 divided by x limit as x tends to 0, which we know is nothing but log of a to base e. Now, a is 3, a is 3, but I want the second term to be 1. So, I will divide this whole, I will divide the numerator by 9 or can I say I will take 9 common, anything is ok. If I do that, what happens? Maybe I will write it like this. I will say 3 square into 3 power x minus 9 divided by x. Why are we doing that? Because we have to take 9 out so that I can have the second term of this expression is 1. Now, you can see I can take 9 common. So, it will become 9 into 3 power x minus 1 divided by x, limit of that as x tends to 0. We know that a power x minus 1 by x as x tends to 0 is log a and a is equal to 3. 
so the answer will be 9 into log of 3 base e so that will be the solution let's go to the next one limit extends to a we have to calculate what is log of x minus log of a divided by x minus a if you remember couple of sessions back when we are looking at non-zero limits I have told that whenever we see a non-zero value the formula needs a zero but you have a non-zero value immediately substitute with another variable such that the variable will turn to zero if I take y equal to x minus a as x tends to a as x tends to a y tends to 0 so I will substitute in y's now I will say limit x tends to a instead of that let me just go back and say what I was saying y tends to 0 log of x what is x now x is nothing but equal to a plus y because we have taken y equal to x minus a so log of a plus y minus log of a divided by y now we know the loss of logarithms whenever we have log of a minus log of b I can write it as log of a by b we know that so I can apply that and I can say log of a plus y divided by y by y now what is the formula we are looking at here logarithms what is the formula we have the formula we have is log of 1 plus x the formula is here somewhere let us look that here this is the formula limit x tends to 0 log of 1 plus x by x I should have 1 plus x divided by x so let me see where are we here log of I will say limit y tends to 0 log of I want 1 plus so I will write it as a by y plus y by y that makes it log of 1 plus a by y yes I got the form of log of 1 plus x but I need log of 1 plus 1 minute let me just have a look at that yeah as usual I just made a blender let me just fix it one minute I'll just fix it so this is a that is a so I can make it as a so this becomes 1 plus y by a why it is a because you can see log of a plus y minus of log a that is log of a plus y divided by a okay now this is nothing but equal to log of 1 plus y by a the form what we need is log of 1 plus x now what is the value of x here the value of x is nothing but equal to y by a x equal to y by a but I have only y so what I should do now I should divide by a and I also I should multiply with a so that I can go ahead in the next step and say log of 1 plus y by a divided by y by a is equal to 1 so the next step will be limit of x limit of y tends to 0 ok maybe say that this is what equal to 1 we already aware of that so I can go ahead and say this is equal to 1 into 1 by a which is nothing but 1 by a so the solution for that is 1 by a let me just repeat that in case if I confused you with a small mess up whatever I did there I'll just take a couple of minutes and solve simplify that log of x minus log of a by x minus a x tends to a the first impression x tends to a but according to the formula x should tend to 0 immediately y equal to x minus a that means as x tends to a y tends to 0 now I am happy because I got to the 
in the shape in the form of y tends to 0. Now I should convert this function in the form of log of 1 plus y by y. Let us see how it happens. Now once I substitute the values I see it is log of a plus y minus log a by y. You know the rules of logarithms where loss of logarithm where you can say log of a minus log of b equal to log of a, a, play, a by b. Now once I apply that formula I see it is in the form of log of 1 plus x but in the denominator I don't have complete x. So I, I place the x there and manipulate accordingly so that I am not modifying the value. Then we observe that this box which will become 1 and we are left out with 1 by a. So the solution for that is 1 by a. Let us see if we have time for some more problems in this or we will go to next session. So, we will stop here. In the next session, we will go to another important standard result. So, you can see that once you are very convergent with all the standard results and different types of functions, what are the formulas you have to use? Limits is very, very easy to solve. In the next session, we will look at another standard result that is limit of x tends to 0, 1 plus x whole to the power of 1 by x is equal to E. We will leverage that formula, we will see different forms of that and we will solve examples based on that. After that, we will move to con continuous um, continuity of the functions, then we will go to derivatives. So. I will catch you in the next session. Thanks for your time. Bye for now.